Hey, what's up, everybody? Back with another Blu ray haul update. As always, got my movies for this week, so let's go ahead and jump into it and see what I picked up this go around. The first thing I picked up was The Strangers Pray at Night. For some reason, a lot of places that I went to didn't have this movie. So I ended up uh, finding it at Best Buy. Because I went to Best Buy to actually go get something else, and uh, something else that I actually want to go get is the next movie. So I picked up. Strangers Pray at Night. Somebody actually had a Best Buy came through. Picked that up with that nice little slip. And the thing I actually went to Best Buy to originally go get, I wanted to price match with Amazon because Amazon had it for $13. So, you know, I went ahead and hopped on it because I almost got the steel book of this. But I said, eh, why get a steel book when I could just pay 13 bucks and get the uh, regular 4K release? And that would be Red Sparrow heard this one actually looks good in a uh, 4k not like oh I, I heard it looks good i read a couple of reviews for it and they said it looks really good i ended up getting this one from best buy it was the last one after i walked around for a while and found one copy but this one had a little rip on the side but i take that up so 13 dollars instead of paying a regular price for it even though i think best buy has it on sale for like 15 or 16 but Went for the Amazon price match and knocked that down to 13 so picked that up. The next thing I picked up was a movie I was trying to get my hands on. Ended up getting it from Walmart. But the thing that's kind of crazy with Walmart lately is that their 4K releases come out. And you go to the store and they don't actually have that many of them. And then like late on in a week or like next week they have a bunch of them. So I don't know what's up with the uh, supply and demand on that one. But. Ended up getting a Tomb Raider 4K from Walmart. And of course it also comes with the instant digital copy included with the uh, Voodoo. The thing that's so funny with this one, I did the Voodoo on the savings catcher and it didn't pop up. Usually when I do the Voodoo savings catcher, the movies immediately pop up and end up on my Voodoo. So I don't know what happened. I'm going to probably just end up using the actual uh, digital code. Uh, added to my uh, digital collection because for some reason it did not pop up like it usually does so I'll be using the digital code on that one. Tomb Raider heard it was a good action uh, movie very close to the recently released games didn't hear thing, anything too bad about it so looking forward to checking this out. The next thing I picked up is a series that I'm a big fan of uh, going through the line I already watched all of the episodes in Japanese and I bought the blu-ray so I just continue to uh, get them and I probably continue getting whatever they release on it because I really like the uh, manga and I like the uh, series as a whole and that would be Berserk season 2 didn't have a collector's edition of this one on digipack just the regular release it was kind of pricey but I'm a Berserk fan, so I went ahead and spent that money and picked it up. So, Berserk Season 2. 12 episodes. Wish they would have made the actual Blu-ray case black. That would have been tight, but it is what it is. The next thing I picked up is something that a lot of people are a fan of. I finally picked this up. I pre-ordered this a while ago because it was a Best Buy exclusive for a limited amount of time. But I ended up getting this for under 30 so I went ahead and bit because it was... Um, it was like a deal and then like a coupon off one or two so I went ahead and picked it up and that would be Avatar the Complete Series. Got it for the promo. I keep saying coupon but it wasn't a coupon it was like a promo and then something else for it being on sale so I was able to get it for under 30 so not too shabby. It's in a 4.3 format the original format so if anybody plans on picking this up be aware. It's not in 16 by 9, it's in 4.3 because of course when they originally did Avatar, that was the format they were rolling with. So there you have it, Avatar the Complete Series. Put that next to Makora. And the last thing I ended up picking up was something that I ordered. And of course UPS delivered it and of course they uh, banged it up like they always do. And I wish Amazon Canada would continue to let DHL do their expedited deliveries. They started using UPS and I've been noticing every time I get something from UPS that's at least an international package. It comes beat the hell up and that is getting on my 
goddamn nerves, but the thing I ended up picking up was My Hero Academia Season 2 Part 2, the Collector's Edition, because of course you've seen other videos where I did the unboxings for the other one. I don't think I'm doing an unboxing for this one. I'm going to just open this joint up and uh, watch it. And at the top on the chipboard, it's a little messed up, but that's UPS for you. Damaging goods as much as they can. Never had a problem with DHL. Hell, or FedEx. That's crazy, but that's everything I picked up this go around. My Hero Academia Season 2 Part 2. Limited Collector's Edition. Avatar The Last Airbender, the complete series. That Berserk Season 2. That uh, Tomb Raider 4K. Red Sparrow for 13 thanks to that Amazon price match. And The Strangers Pray at Night. So that's everything I got this go around. Let me know what you think in the comment section below if you picked any of these up or if you are planning on picking any of these up. But otherwise than that, I will catch you all in the next one. I'm finna slide. Alright everybody.